three rounds of the electoral battle are over and the Congress has added more punch to its barrage of charges against Narendra Modi. For the first time, when the BJP's PM candidate declared Jashoda Ben as his legally wedded wife in his Vadodara seat election affidavit, the Congress pounced on the opportunity, taking the issue to the Election Commission on Friday, asking it to probe Modi's nomination papers. Today, इलेक्शन कमीशन के पास के कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए ये इंडियन पीनल कोड के कई सेक्शंस हैं जिसके अंतर्गत कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए और इलेक्शन कमीशन ने कहा है कि हम इसको एग्जामिन करेंगे While some of the Congress's Gujarat leaders feel that Modi should not be attacked on what is perceived as a personal matter, the party's top leadership clearly feels that this is the proverbial chink in Modi's armour, which is why earlier in the day, Vice President Rahul Gandhi stepped up to the plate in taking a swing at him. Okay, I don't know how many elections are fought. I've written the first time that the marriage is married. पहली बार दिल्ली में महिलाओं की इज्जत मगर अपने अपनी पत्नी का नाम एफिडेविट तक नहीं पहुंचता है अच्छा ठीक है कारण होगा पता नहीं चीफ मिनिस्टर का पूरा दम पुलिस का पूरा दम एक महिला के फोन को टैप करने में लग जाता है The BJP seems unsettled by Congress's apparent low blow. It issued posters juxtaposing Narendra Modi as Desh Premi and several rival leaders past and present as Patni Premis over their perceived morally dubious relations with women. And at the same time, the BJP has even warned the Congress over the consequences of attacking Modi over his marriage. Varna agar parivarik vishay uthana hai to main bahut jimwari se kehna chahta hu नेहरू इंदिरा गांधी राजीव गांधी खानदान के बहुत से पारिवारिक विषय हैं हम कभी नहीं उठाएंगे राहुल गांधी जी ये हमारे संस्कार हैं आपके परिवार के बहुत विषय को संवेदनशील विषय को हम जानते हैं काफी चीजें दस्तावेजों में भी रखी हुई हैं लेकिन हम कभी नहीं चर्चा करेंगे क्योंकि हम एक स्तर की बात करते हैं But the Congress is undaunted. In another salvo, it has taken the help of a statement made by former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee and his picture to target Modi on the 2002 riots. The Congress has also put up a message on its website along with an article and Vajpayee's picture saying Modi did not abide by Raj Dharm. The picture's caption says, "A person who former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee didn't consider fit for the Chief Minister's post, can you that is voters entrust the nation's future in such a person's hands?" Vajpayee as PM had told the Gujarat Chief Minister in 2002 after the riots to abide by Raj Dharma. The article also cites a letter sent to Modi by Vajpayee on the 1st of June the same year to ensure proper compensation, relief and resettlement for riot victims without any discrimination. But the BJP has dismissed this delving into the past by the Congress as panic over imminent loss. Gudra kand mein Gujarat dango mein wo Modi के खिलाफ एक्शन नहीं ले पाए जो उनका राज धर्म का पालन नहीं कर पाए उन्होंने कहा है तो निश्चित ही अगर उनके जैसा विद्वान व्यक्ति ने ये बात कही थी तो सत्य ही कहा था भी व्यक्ति अगर आ, सही बोलता है चाहे ऑपोजिशन का ही क्यों ना हो अगर वो बात सही है तो सही है कोई भी नेता अगर उसको कहता है तो हम इंडिया की बात करते हैं तो टीवी पर देखते होंगे वो लोग कहते हैं उन्होंने कोई काम नहीं किया तो एकाएक आज वेबसाइट पर अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी को बड़ा नेता बनाने की कोशिश करना यह उनकी घबराहट का परिचायक है वैसे मुझे एक बात का सुकून है देर आए दुरुस्त आए पहले माने तो अच्छा होता देश मानता है उनको The 2002 riots is an issue for which the BJP has a patented defense of a clean shit from the court for Modi. On the marriage issue from one perspective it is a personal matter but acknowledging his marriage when left with no alternative after repeated omission and affidavit after affidavit through the years does put Modi in the dock. The question is what is the voters take on the issue? Bureau report DD News.